This video on demand features a beautiful French twist design by master nail technician Lynn Lammers. Whether you are competing or you just want to offer your clients a creative cutting edge design, this demonstration will show you how easy it is with the Vicki Peters Signature Series acrylic products. As seen on the cover of Nail Pro Magazine, this French twist design was created by Lynn using white tips, sculpting forms, and a pair of pinking shears. The Vicki Peters acrylic powders used in this video are from the sample glass kit. The pink and clear glass powders give the design dimension and clarity. Once you choose the cutting design, mark the tool as Lynn has done here, so you have a guideline as to where to place the edge of the tip for consistent cutting. Place the tip in the cutting tool, slowly and precisely cut the portion of the tip. This top portion will complement a lower thinner portion cut from the bottom half of the tip later. Now cut a thinner strip from the bottom of the tip that you cut off earlier. After you have prepped the nails, apply Crystal Glaze Brush on Glue to the back of the tip and apply it to the nail. Double check the tip's position on the nail and then use a pair of tweezers to press down the ears into the groove of the nail for a tight fit and hold it into place until the tip is secure. Next, apply the form. Start by removing the center of the form and placing it underneath for added support. Roll the form with your fingers to shape it and then apply. Press the form into place at the tip with your fingers, shaping it as tubular as possible without pressing the end of the form to a point. Make sure the form is centered and fits tightly up underneath the tip. Using the Vicki Peters Liquid Monomer in clear glass powder, Lynn will start by extending the free edge below the tip with a very wet ball of clear glass powder. The product needs to be very thin because Lynn will be pressing the smaller piece of the tip she cut earlier into the wet product and then encasing it with more clear glass powder. With a pair of tweezers, Lynn takes the smaller piece of cut tip and presses it into the wet acrylic until it's dry. An additional ball of clear glass powder over the top encases the tip and provides strength and durability. Lynn will continue to build the nail up to the smile line with the clear glass. Lynn is using a number 8 oval signature brush and she will gently using the tip of the brush wipe the sides of the nail plate to make sure the product does not run into the skin. And do notice that she does not touch the skin while she does this. Next, using pink glass, Lynn applies her first ball of pink to the nail plate. She places it in the center of the smile line and barely pulls the pink glass over the white tip. What product she does pull over the white tip will be filed off later so the clarity of the product is not compromised. Her 
her final ball of pink glass is pressed into place at the cuticle area and gently wiped down to blend in perfectly. Now that the nail is almost cured, it's the perfect time for Lynn to press a deeper C-shape into the extension for a more dramatic look. Once the nail is completely set up, you can safely remove the form. Lynn will use the Vicki Peters two-sided file, the white side which is a 180 grit for shaping, the gray side which is a 100 grit for finishing. The 100 grit buffer leaves the surface rough enough for a gel shine finish. Lynn's filing system is a consistent one. She starts with the white side of the file, places it in the center of the cuticle, files down the left side, then she repeats the step in the opposite direction. On the lower section of the nail, she continues to file the surface in the same manner. Then she holds the file flat to the tip as she refines the bottom edge to get a clean, sharp edge. And notice she does not flip the file. Next she files the undersides. She also learns to roll the finger to meet the file to make it easier to create the top shape to match the underside shape. Lynn then refines her work and checks the shape before moving on to the next step. Lynn uses a Koopa electric file in addition to the under the nail cleaner bit which will refine the product division on the underside of the nails by holding it flat to the nail as she makes the underside smooth. The next step is to refine the thickness of the underside edge of the tip of the nail. She uses a fine carbide barrel to make sure that the convex and the concave edges of the tip match perfectly. To refine the nails even more, Lynn uses the buffer side of the file and repeats the same steps she did with the white side earlier. Using the coarse buffer continues to refine the shape by hugging the nail as it buffs, leaving the surface refined yet still rough. And once the buffing is complete, do not have the client wash her nails. Instead, remove the dust with a clean dry nylon nail brush because when you apply gel shine or finish gel, it will adhere and apply easier on a dry nail. Apply gel shine to the underside of the nails and cure. Using gel shine will also help fill in any rough spots left by the UNC bit on the underside. Take notice that Lynn caps the edges of the tip on both sides and make sure she has good coverage on the underside of the extension, making the top application easier later. Once this is complete, cure for 90 seconds. Next, apply a thin coat of gel shine to the top surface of the nails. Make sure you have good coverage and you've allowed it to level out so it's perfectly smooth. Once you've done that, you can apply additional product for thickness.
Cap the tip once again and cure for 90 seconds. Gel Shine cures to a hard, high gloss, permanent finish and does not have a tacky layer. It needs to be buffed off when doing a fill. Once the nails are cured, place a drop of cuticle oil on the nails and rub in. And you're done! And a very special thank you to Lynn Lammers. This podcast was brought to you by Coupa Incorporated, which is located in Buena Park, California. Visit the website at www.coupainc.com for additional podcast programs, instructional videos, and product information.